Hello everyone, my name is Nils Redden from Quiver Vision. Uh, today I'm going to be giving you an overview of our new education dashboard and our education subscription model. If you don't know already, our education subscription model essentially allows you to log multiple devices and to use our content all under one license plan. Today I'll also be running through how to register and set up an account on our dashboard, how to set up a new class, how to add and remove students from that class, how you can generate a join code for students to use in the class and at home, and just other little bits and pieces really. This is our new website, which looks fairly similar. It's just got a nice fancy new header. To access the dashboard, you need to click on the button here. Okay, so once you've clicked on that education dashboard button, it will open a new tab, which shows this education dashboard portal, which is where you need to log in, or if you haven't already registered, you can register, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll click on the register button. I'll then either enter my details manually, or I can sign up with Google or, or Microsoft, um, which I'm going to use Google. Select my account. Once I've selected that, it should automatically log into the dashboard for us. So as you'll see, you'll have a verification email has been sent to the email address that you used. So I'll jump out and find that, this email here. So as you can see, it's asking me to confirm my email. The email also includes a getting started kit, which is a helper for all of our new subscribers. It gives you lots of information about the dashboard and how you can use it. Um, there is also a link to our color impacts, which will just shoot you through to our website, and our awesome activity plans, which is an ever-growing repository of supported material for our content. So if I click confirm email, it will then take us back to the dashboard where I'm now verified. Right, so welcome to the new dashboard. Once you're there, you'll see that it's opened a free trial for, in this case, 10 seats, which will be active for six days. As you can see, for additional seats and continued usage, you'll just need to purchase one of the license plans, which I'll either click in here or down here. And I'll go into more details about that shortly. So otherwise, as you'll see, here's the video, which will actually be this video by the time this launches. There's again the getting started kit, so it's all here for you in one place, the coloring packs and our activity plans again. On the left hand side you've got the main buttons and options to use when you're inside the dashboard. The first is classes. So if I click on classes, you'll then be prompted to create a new classroom. So on that, I can then add the class. Add class. Once I've created that, you can then have a look at this little menu. There's a get class PDF, which I'll explain in more detail shortly. Uh, you can also rename your class or remove the class if you want to. Otherwise, if you click on the class itself, I can then have the option to add students to our class. You'll also see a class join code over here. And that code there is what students will use to scan to then access the license plan or class um, before they use the content. So first of all, I'll just add a couple of students. So I've created both of these two, these two students as part of my class. I can now click here, and this will give me a student PDF. Um, we can also rename the student or remove the student if we wish to. Get student PDF. If I click on this, you will then see a new PDF open, which you can print. And basically gives instructions for the student in terms of how to use our content. In the classroom, it'll obviously be a little bit easier with the teacher there, but we've given a very simple um, breakdown of how the student can take it home, show the parents and hopefully download the Quiver app and access the content using the same join code when they're at home or, or anywhere outside of the classroom. So 
So just going back to where I added the students within the class portal, you will notice that there's a little clip art generated, um, randomly generated under each student. So this little clip art is associated with that particular student and it is what they will see to select when they scan the class join code. Um, we'll quickly run through that when we show you a, a mobile run through of what it actually looks like on the mobile as well. I'll also just go back to the classes to show you what the class PDF, now that I've got two students in my class, if I click, click on the get class PDF, it'll open a PDF with, in this case, just the two different PDFs. So you've got one for Santa Claus and one for John Doe. Um, if you had 30 students, it would have all 30 PDFs in one go. So it's just a nice way for the teacher to be able to print out all 30 or, or two in this case, uh, join codes without having to do it individually. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how a student can use the student PDF, which was printed from the dashboard to access the classroom, which we created in the dashboard. So to do that, as you'll see, I've opened the Quiver app, you'll then select the, the student will select the camera button in the middle, which will open their camera feed. They will then go to their student class PDF uh, and then they'll click on the QR code to scan it. They'll then be prompted to choose their name. In this case, John Doe, I'll hit that. I'll then select continue. I'll then be prompted to select the clip art that was generated within the dashboard. Um, in John's case, it was the lovely little duck. I'll select the duck, I'll hit continue. And then I've been welcomed to the classroom, which was Nils Redden's tutorial class. Once I've completed that, I hit continue again. It will then take me back to the camera feed. The next step is for the student to go to the coloring page that they are using at the time and find the QR code at the bottom, scan that. It will then launch the page pack that they have scanned. I hit launch and then they can scan the coloring page itself. Wonderful. Okay, so now we're back in the dashboard. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you that once we have scanned, so once John Doe, the student, has gone through the process we just showed you on the mobile, you'll, you can then go into the dashboard and select this active users button over here on the left, and you will see that John Doe is active at this time. So at, what that means is that John Doe, what are your license plan you've signed up for? In this case, the trial has 10 seats. So John is currently using one of those 10 seats. You can have more than, no, no. yeah, up to 10 students in total. Pretty easy. You can clear John so I can remove him from that class if I had, hit the maximum number of students. I can, and a new student wants to use it. We can either, I can override John and remove them from the class from the dashboard. John can also do that himself uh, within the app and there'll be a separate video to explain that. Okay, so one more thing I wanted to run through today was our license plans. If you select the license plan button over there on the left hand side here, you'll then see our license plan options pop up. So there's 10 seats, 30 seats, 75 seats and 150 seats, each with a monthly cost and an annual cost. Um, the higher the seat number, the per seat cost reduces. In this instance, I'm going to select the 10 seats option. I'll then either select annual or monthly. In this case, I'll go annual. I'll agree to our terms and conditions. Hit continue. And I'll then be prompted to enter my payment details. Once I've put those details in, I then hit subscribe. Process the order. Once that's completed, it will shoot me back to the dashboard. And there we are. Congratulations. I then have the option. So if I ever click on license plan again, this is what you'll see. You'll see our current plan. Um, and while you are subscribed, you have two options. You can either upgrade or cancel. I'll quickly show, so if I hit the upgrade option, it will then show the four options that are available down here. Um, if I hit cancel, that will just take us through the, the, the process of canceling the existing license plan that I had subscribed to. 
One other thing, so if I take you back to the home screen, we have also implemented uh, localization with languages. So you'll see this new button up here. Um, and we've got the most popular languages, at, at least for now, that are using our products. So if I click on Japanese, you'll see that everything is in Japanese. So that's quite a nice little uh, additional feature for any of those countries or anyone speaking those languages. Um, that's pretty much it for now, I think. I know it's a lot to take in, um, but we will be releasing lots more videos over the next month, month or two and, and moving forward, just trying to help everyone understand as much as they can about the dashboard to make sure you can get the most out of it. Great, thank you. See you soon.